Demonstration of the Automated Blood Collection Tube Labeling System Standard Printer Thermal Paper Installation Remove one thermal paper, label, from the external end of the print paper roll. Leave only the liner with a length of about 16 to 20 centimeters. Press the snap spring, then the guide bar will get opened. Follow the guideline for replacing the print paper, place the print paper roll in the related slot. Pass the liner under the printer head. Clamp the end of the liner onto the black shaft. Non-standard printer. Load the thermal print paper. Press the snap spring of the printer, then the guide bar will get opened. Place the thermal print paper on the shaft of the printer. Pass the external end of the print paper through the printer head. Let it exceed the front edge of the guide bar by about 1 cm. After the print paper is loaded, the guide bar of the printer can return to its original position. An audible click of the snap indicates that the reset is completed. If the amount of some blood collection tubes on the rack is insufficient, please replenish it on time. Turn on the labeling machine, then the computer. Launch the labeling software, the labeling system is on standby status. Login with the registered username and password. After login, access the system interface. There are two types of users, system administrator and operator. The difference is related to the system management and operating permits. The system administrator has the highest access level. It can troubleshoot and change all parameters of the system. The operator, instead, can only use the automatic labeling and labeling related records query function. After accessing the software, click automatic labeling in the labeling management interface. Open the menu of the automatic labeling. ID, name, gender, and age are the basic patient information registered in the hospital. Such information can be accessed by scanning the barcode or entering the ID. In the mode of automatic card reading and label. After reading the card or scanning the barcode, the operation interface shows the test content. The system automatically issues labeling instructions. According to the instructions, the labeling system automatically selects and labels blood collection tubes. The working status is also shown in this interface. The non-standard printer automatically prints labels related to tests which use special containers. For test items which label is printed only, the top of the test item is marked in white in the interface of the automatic labeling. The printed label are sticked on the corresponding sampling tubes or containers by the operator. In the mode of automatic card reading and print only, the tubes are not automatically selected by the labeling system. After reading the card or scanning the barcode, the system automatically prints out the labels of all inspection items via the non-standard printer. Labels are sticked on the corresponding blood collection tubes and containers by the operator. In the mode Manual Card Reading and Label. After reading the card or scanning the barcode, each inspection content is showed in the operation interface. The system does not issue any command. It is handled by the operator manually. Double-click on one or multiple inspection items. Click the Label button. The system issues a command to print labels for the selected inspection item. The labeling machine automatically selects and labels the tubes of this inspection item. In the mode of Manual Read and Print Only, after reading the card or scanning the barcode, the content of each inspection are showed on the operation interface. The system does not issue any commands. It is handled by the operator manually. Double-click on one or multiple inspection items. Then click the Label button. Non-standard printer prints labels for one or multiple corresponding test item. Labels are sticked on the tubes manually by the operator. During the automatic labeling process, click the Pause button. The labeling machine automatically pauses the work in progress and keep the current status. Click the Continue button. The labeling machine continues to work and complete the unfinished labeling action. Click the Cancel button. The labeling machine stops executing the previously given instruction. The tube being picked is put into the preparation box. The remaining instructions for unlabeled items will not be executed. The labeling machine is on standby status for the next automatic labeling instruction.